Hey, Patrick Stone, Patrick Stone Fishing. We're uh, we're out here on the river in the Mississippi Delta doing a little limb lining, bank poling. Um, we do it predominantly in the spring. We have done it in the fall, summer too. I think it'll work anytime you hang a bait where a catfish lives, he's gonna, he's gonna bite it. Um, we, uh, you can do it day, night. We, we went out last night, caught a bunch of big blues and flatheads. Today we're catching, we're catching both at about the same rate. So you uh, get out, hang some lines, see what you can come up with. Another blue. Good one too. First line of the day. Big old blue. We got us a little bank pole here. Ooh, Mr. Funny. Flathead. Pretty. Uh, we got her tied up this tree right here. You can see that limb shaking. We're assuming it's probably a blue because those flathead, they don't tend to shake it like that if they've been on it for a while. This old boy still got some side in him. Awesome. Look just how wide he is. Just where you said he was going to yes, be. Sir. Mr. Blue. Real quick, I'm gonna show you our uh, our limb line rig. We use the same rig on bank poles or uh, or if we're tying the limbs. So first, we start with a number 36 braided trot line cord. Um, I, I hand make those weights. It's a four ounce. It's got a 5 16 hole through the middle of it. Uh, we go to a five alt swivel, about 14 inches of tarred line, a five alt swivel, then we use a hog ring to connect the swivel to the hook, and that's a eight alt bass cat, uh, <laughs> boss cat circle hook. That's the baddest hook I've ever found for these limb lines. If they bite that, they are in trouble. So we take that, we put our, there's a, a chartreuse fire dyed bluegill. We hook him right at the back of the dorsal fin, come through. And I don't know if you can see those scales right there, you got to knock those off. That'll stop your penetration whenever the fish bites it. You want that as sharp as it can be. And then you just let that weight slide down. It'll be there in the morning. All right, so we got us a line right here on this limb. This spot right here got all these tires and logs and concrete. They get up all in that and lay up there and then all this food just blows around here. That's why we got one set right here. It was just shaking. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Flatty. Flatty. Five to two. They're turning the tables today. Beautiful fish. And he's gonna go home to eat again. There's something on it. That's a good eater right there, that joker. You ain't never had a fish taste that good. That one right there. Ooh, bigger flat. Not huge, but he's bigger. And he's angry. Oh. Yellow, man. A beautiful flat head, a lot of yellow on this one. Uh, not as big as we catch, but a, I mean, a very nice fish. So, I'm gonna show you real quick what we're using for bait. Uh, as you can see, we dyed some of these bluegill chartreuse with the chartreuse fire dye. And some of them we just left natural. Um, they, you know, honestly, it seems to be, you know, a chartreuse one that color in this muddy water. I don't know if they can see it better, but they, uh, they're, sure, they're certainly biting them. Oh, he's on there for sure. Yeah, for sure. He had the whole limb pulled down in the water. Ooh, that might be a better fish. Get... Oh, damn! 
Oh, what the? Big old blue. There we go. Big nice blue we just caught. He uh, he pulled so hard he broke the limb that it was on the limb was down in the water. We had to pull it up to to get to him, but it held. We'll find us another limb and reset this one. Well, there there comes a time when you know you got a fish, and I got news for you. This is it. Patrick's going to show you. For those of you that don't know, that's one of those yeah. times that you know <laughs> you got a keep, fish. Keep an eye. Oh my God. He's the whole oh back. my gosh. I hope you don't have an alligator on that because <laughs> that thing is pulling. It's gonna be a big old blue cat. You think it's a blue? I All can't right. say for sure. We're about to see who's right because this tree may go all the way in the water the way this thing's going. I'm gonna get back. Let's see what we got here, folks. Ooh. Mr. Blue. Oh yeah. This is the one that was doing all the banging on that limb. Pretty blue cat. Guys, real quick, I want to show you another bait. If we if we set a line and we think you know it's a predominant for blue cats, uh, this catfish nectar, what we do is, and I'm not going to do it because I already marinated these last night. But I take two or three bottles, put in a in a bucket, uh, and then I put my skipjack in and let them marinate about 12 hours. Every catfish in this river is gonna smell that. You got a stinking skipjack, you marinate it with the catfish nectar, and that is the blue cat bait. Now, if you don't know that's a fish. That's a fish. Yeah, we... Uh, that's gonna be a blue cat the way he's pulling, I'd say, in, this, in the edge of this muddy ditch. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. big head blue cat. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. In. He's trying to curl up on me, a big male blue cat. Looks like he's kind of long and skinny. The blues are making a serious comeback. The blues have made a comeback, I think we're about even now. I'm gonna show you an easy way to get these circle hooks out of these fish. You know, this fish is, I mean, he's caught. You know, you can take a pair of pliers and try to rip it out. Or you take a piece of rope, you wrap around the line right there, you run it all the way up to your hook. You hold it tight there, you hold this down by the side of the fish, and you just pop it and it falls right out every time. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from deep down south, where we're limb lining today for catfish. And those catfish are gonna include blue cats and flatheads. Now it's springtime right now, and obviously the river is high, it's very turbulent, and it's a great time to target these fish. Now, this is the first time these guys have done this. They have not been pre-fishing for weeks. They have several guide trips coming up. So these first two days, where we're with them one of the first two days, is kind of a little bit of experimenting to see where the fish are gonna be. Now, when it came to fish, we expected to catch half flatheads and half blues, and we did. Now, you'll see two guys today. You'll have Patrick Stone of Patrick Stone Fishing, and then a guy that guides on his own and also helps Patrick, TJ. <coughs> Both these guys are fishy dudes. They're not afraid to get deep in with these cats and get their hands dirty, and that's what they did. They used two baits today. They used our live chartreuse fire dye bluegills and brim, and you can see these things are chartreuse as can be. The visual in the water, even when the water's dirty, you can see them. We also used a lot of skipjack cut and soaked in Potsky catfish nectar, and just like Patrick told you, guys, if you're gonna use this stuff, don't just pour it in and then throw it out in the water. Let it marinate for 12 hours. You'll find your success rates go way up from there. And get out there and have a good time. Whether you book a guide trip with these guys deep down south or you do this on your own, fishing's all about enjoying yourself and having fun, just like we did here today.
Podsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Podsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Podsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.